jedan, dva, tri. Idemo napred. Artlist.io Bravo, to ima je Rupo Dalian i dobro došli u moj novi podcast. Music Licensing Reimagined Music licensing reimagined. Bravo, moji vaj je Rumba Daliani, dobrodošli na a moj e, e, podcast emisije Posao jezike i istorija. A ovo je moj prijatelj Pita Ruzevik, a danas je ponedeljak, apri, četir, 4. april 2022. godina. A kako si, gospodine? Da, četvrti. Hvala na pitanju, prijatelju. Odlično sam, evo, ovaj, započeli smo novu knjigu na, koja ide na, na Amazon mm. i uradili smo, ja i Luk, na, za naš podcast koji je isto ovako uspešan kao i tvoj moj. Uradili smo novu, novu emisiju i to će biti u stvari veoma dobro. To je već izašlo na YouTube. I evo, radimo marketing za ove tri knjige koje imamo. Eto, za Teslu, za, za ovaj, kulturu i za mitologiju. I to se odlično prodaje sve bolje i bolje. Mm-hmm. So to answer to your question, I'm doing excellent. It's not I fine, I'm, I'm excellent. I'm doing, you know, thumbs up. Atlično. Yeah, I've just, I've just seen, you know, a couple of minutes ago, I've just seen, mm-hmm. uh, you know, Will Smith's slapping. Yeah, that's, let's talk about that today. The Chris Rock's face, and it was, you know... Uh, šta mislite Chris Rock? What is your whole, like, thoughts on the whole situation of him getting slapped in the face by L. Will Smith? Well, nothing special. Just an emotional outburst, you know. Uh, it was just, uh, you know, hmm? people, I mean, humans have to learn how to control themselves in order to avoid the redundant suffering of themselves and the other ones. I mean, if they they, if they uh, go further mm-hmm. towards the other beings using this chakra, this, right. this um, uh, timeless gland, mm-hmm. which is responsible for hard feelings and outbursts of emotion, you know, Mm-hmm. They can do wrong often. They they have to they have to you know first think you know yeah. cold mindedly. They have to clean up their their mind. There are the exercises, the certain yoga exercises that can help humans to uh, preserve their, their their state of mind cold. You know just not to go emotional for nothing. You know, like like Sadhguru. You know who Sadhguru? He's a guru from India. He's very popular. He's a uh, popular intellectual or a media star, although he claims that he's an alphabet or illiterate. Illiterate, but you know, he he's just a mere guru. I mean, there's been gurus like that. So, uh, following the yoga techniques that I've learned since many years ago. Uh, from the moment in the past on, I I can tell you. I can tell to our audience that there are the yoga techniques techniques that can erase the negativity and they can they can stop they can block the the outbursts 
of emotions. Death can lead to, you know, uh, to, to, to suffering or death. Right. Eventually. Okay. I was, I was, I was uh, practicing karate techniques for some eight years of my life. And let's say a little bit more even. So okay. in karate, the main uh, sentence, the main proverb that one has to remember for good is not to harm another one in mm-hmm. vain if you don't unless if you really need it so right. the wells uh, outburst uh, you know, of emotion you know the emotional overreacting was a deliberate sign of a weakness mm-hmm. right right to je slabost pokazana u tom trenutku so uh, you know if he was really powerful like the karate masters are for example he would never do that so that was the emotional outburst which shows and represents the lack of the real power meaning the weakness mm. he i mean you know it was a fr- an inner frustration right. because uh the so-called celebrity i know you know a few of them a little bit more than a few personally so they are sometimes not that rich as has been exposed. Right. And they are sometimes not that powerful, politically speaking. They don't have any power. Only never nikakum much. And therefore they can sometimes get frustrated because they would like to expand their own possibilities, although they can't. So that's one of the reasons for, for that slapping. Uh, yeah, I like- thought it was a joke. Yeah. I thought it was a joke previously, but it was it was a really hard slap, you know. Yeah, and I and I believe that uh, Will Smith also made an apology for smacking Chris Rock in the face. Hey, sorry, Ruben. Can you can you say again the last one? Can you repeat it? Oh, Azmini. Uh, like I said, uh, Will Smith apologized for slapping Chris Rock in the face. He apologized. Oh yeah, he later apologized for yeah, that. I earlier. mean, yeah, yeah, it was it was emotional. He was, you know, in tears. And okay, no problem. It's 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 uh, understandable. It's comprehensible. I understand those things, but um, you know, uh, mm-hmm. because I was also passing through various stages and situations in yeah. life, and that's good. That it's very humane, nevertheless. You know, um, but uh, the the good thing about Will Smith uh, is that he has the will. Mm-hmm. I I read his autobiography and the uh, you know uh, on the Amazon. You know, I purchased the book as just as well as I I I've got to Luke's one. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, I, I ordered. You know, uh, you know, shipping included a small fee for for you know. For shipping the, the to imash, certain the, territories. The, the imash uh, local uh, knige? Imam, primio ah. sam pre neki dan. Primio sam je. I čitam je sa zadovoljstvom ovih dan. I read it with pleasure these days. Ah. days. So just, I just want to tell you regarding Will's book. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's entitled Will. W-I-L-L. Because he said mm-hmm. that his father... Uh, had given him the will to mm-hmm. struggle to to go through life and to penetrate and to be a fighter and a survivor and that's good i mean that that's something we all have inherited in our in our genes you know to fight to to go for life not yeah. to avoid it he was it was working as a as a construction building worker you know mm-hmm. it was a, an employee at the at the you know construction working space for you know making the buildings mm-hmm. so it was a kind of hard job because you have to put the bricks onto the the foundation the basement and then you do the roofs and the walls and so on so you know it was kind of up building his own life in that period you know so later on he became a rapper and an actor as well as we know. He was it was it was well known as Fresh Prince over the 90s. Uh, if you if you you weren't born but you were watching the videos yeah. from that time, you know, welcome to Miami. Mm-hmm. Bienvenido a Miami, you know, with those uh, hot yeah. girls rambling around, <laughs> you know, jumping in, in, like the, in, the, in the 
Yeah, and, and with a huge bras. No. And uh, you know, that's that's how he became famous. I mean, many would say not too much to say, but you know, he's a smart guy. No. You know, smart smart enough to succeed in, in Hollywood and Miami too. So he started in Florida. On, in your on, neighborhood. On a, yeah, on on a on your bill on your bio u Florida. Da, on je počeo karijeru tim spotom u ah. Miami. Miami. Benvenido ah. a Miami. Hmm? Welcome to oh, Miami. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not, not, not my Miami, but your Miami. Kao baka. Da, kao baka, da. Hey, yes, he has missed. Is he repeated? Did you ask your your grandfather to? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, not yet. To get included in our show? Not no. yet, but I will ask uh, him. Yeah, yeah, I have to ask him. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if he if he does your haircut, you know, he can also join our 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 videos because it will be funny. You know, and, and um, these peaks are Armenian perfectly. Armenian so, Russian uh, too. Armenian Russian English. Yeah, of course, because it was born in the USSR, just oh, like your mother was. Yeah. So yeah, we can start with a few of our closest friends. You know, I can include the already mentioned Bob, oh, okay. friends of mine. Yeah, like like uh, the great guy Johnny B. Yes, and also yeah, the Armenian friend. Who, right. He was the honorary consul in Yerevan. Hmm. So yeah, many of them. And that that woman psychiatrist, yeah, she can also participate because she's full of different knowledge, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Like me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Shall, shall we start now? Where do you say with the with the Nazis? I mean, it's it's always yeah, we're gonna get into that top, yeah. The Nazis like but it's kind of strange because I don't understand like why they were like so obsessed with the Aryan race because I don't know why Neznam Zashto, like why the reason they were so obsessed with it, they were obsessed with it for some reason because there was like uh, people who had like people, Ludi Imam Blushav Oko, blonde, uh, no, blonde hair and blue eyes. Ne znaš zašto su bili toliko opsednuti arijevskom rasom. Da. Yeah, you don't know why were they so much obsessed with the Aryan race. Well, that was due to the humiliation that they they thought they suffered uh, over mm -hmm. the over the, the at, at the end of the World War War One. Better because be they've lost the war and they were on their knees. They thought that they were humiliated. And due to all of those reasons, they wanted definitely by any chance, they wanted to uplift their right. morality and their military core service. And they wanted to upgrade their own economy and to uh, Start up a whole lot of new life on the ashes of the of the destroyed uh, cities and, uh, and the country that, that they were living on. So, right. uh, so like, yeah. yeah, Aryan race that was basically basically like people who had like blue eyes and they had like blonde hair. That's kind of what the Aryan race was about. Just like. The, the Germans thought they were better than Aryans. That's what they basically thought, other point of view. Well, yeah, but um, that's that's just according to their uh, consideration and their comprehension yeah. of how, how they were acknowledging and, and uh, comprehend, you know, comprehending the the what uh, what uh, the Aryan race should be looking like. Right. But I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. And I will use this opportunity to tell that the real Aryans were the, you know, the, 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 the people from India and Dravids uh, and um, Iranians, meaning the Persians and also the ancient, ancient Serbs and also uh, Armenians were the real Aryans, you know, or Aryans. Uh, 
you know, it's not necessarily connected to the to the Nordic, you know, uh, uh, Norwegian or Swedish or 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 Germanic genes. You know, not necessarily because the original uh, Aryans were, you know, inhabitants of of, of the those. Uh, Indo-European part with, with what I that I just mentioned. Yeah, and then people who were not Aryans, they were executed. Oh yeah, because they wanted to say to themselves, "Okay, we are superb, superior. We are, uh, yeah. yeah, we're superior in any sense, and and in the sense of morals, in the sense of literature, yeah. in the sense of art, in the sense of science, in the sense of technology." Uh, in, in the sense of blood and genes, right. in, in any sense, in Italy, including language and, and, and sexuality and religion and anything else. So, right. you know, even our own deaths, if it comes up to that, have to, have to be, you know, um, pompous and, and they have to be, you know, um, luxurious. They, we, we have to take our own lives. And so, therefore, they were committing suicides when, when they were surrounded by the inimical forces, you know, mm -hmm. like the, the Soviets, you know, uh, but okay. Hitler did not commit suicide, that's for sure. No, I but that's the first... official story. The official story said he committed suicide with his wife in the bunker before yeah. Soviets got there, so. Yeah, but there was so many doubles of him, uh -huh. and even the, the, the lower parts of the mm -hmm. Nazi party uh, were having, uh, you know, uh, dub doubles, you know, and mm -hmm. it was a serious stuff because it was a seriously organized uh, society uh, and the military and party and state. So, uh, you know, that many were escaping uh, yeah. through, through the, you know, uh, uh, rat. Uh, yeah, like canals, during the Nazi you know, era, there was a lot of other rat officials. There was a lot of other Nazi officials. There was like Heinrich Himmler, but he was like the commander or the founder of the SS police force. He was responsible for the execution squads of like Jews and other people, uh, like Jews and Soviet people. And then there was uh, Joseph Goebbels, but Goebbels, he was like the uh, minister of propaganda and not propaganda yeah, that's right. and it was, it was in charge for the movies for the, for the German film. Yeah. Joseph Goebbels, yeah. Joseph yeah. Goebbels, yeah. Right. It's worthy of mentioning, and that's one of the 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 core topics, the essence of the the question over here. That, uh, that those were all Khazars. Whenever a surname of a person has mm -hmm. a certain meaning, you know, it's about the Khazar. Right. So all of the all of the higher and the highest, even the lowest yeah. uh, members of the Nazi party were Khazars by nationality. It's a Turkic tribe. Oh, so they basically yeah. weren't German. They were not German? Well, no, it's uh, the, the Nazis were Khazars by origin, uh, but they spoke German, of course. Right. But they infiltrated into the, into, into the core of every state Mm -hmm. worthy of infiltrating into so um i mean they were born in germany most of them uh, discluding hitler you know the, onye, onye is austrian Chicago. onye yeah onye onye he was he was an austrian no. he was an austrian no. case mm -hmm. yeah that's not a jew that's that's rather an ashkenazi that's case right so you know albert speer Joseph Goebbels, you know, um, yeah, you know, everyone. Herwin Gerwin, know, but he was the commander. Rudolf Hess. Oh, sorry. There was Her Herwin Gerwin, but he was the commander of the Nazi Air Force during that time, the Luftwaffe. Yeah, and, and also, uh, yeah, and also uh, Reinhard, Reinhard Heinrich. Reinhard yeah. Heinrich, I know him. Heinrich, he was yeah, Heinrich. He was also a Khazar. Yeah. Even his even his outer shape of the face, the facial outlook was uh, right. of a typical Khazar. You know, mm -hmm. you know there is it's worthy of mentioning too that there is a, a state which uh, represents a remnant, a debris of the large Khazar state 
that has been existing in the past, and that's Azerbaijan. Oh, uh, yeah. And that's it's Azerbaijan, literally mm -hmm. speaking. So they uh, had, you know, uh, they they made an oath, a pledge. They they swore. Mm -hmm. That they will they will reestablish the, the Khazar state. So the current situation is in Ukraine is in an attempt to do that. Okay, to make the, the to make the 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 inter uh, station borders, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, to make them uh, propulsive mm -hmm. and. Uh, Permeable, so you know, to, to make the permeability between the the, the, the station borders, and uh, try to to try to destroy Russia in order to reestablish the K, the Khazar uh, Khaganate. But it's it's I think it's um, it's uh, now I know you said earlier a successful. Thing. You said like Armenians and Serbs, they were like Aryans. You were saying earlier yeah of course and there is you know, so that means that nikola tesla yeah. is an Aryan too and it's it's worthy of mentioning that um tesla is deeply involved into the story with the nazis because you know um in 1937 he was working in the in the former czechoslovakia tesla and the and in the skada in the, you know, the Shkada uh, car factory, uh, you know, the automobile industry. I've been to those mm -hmm. those factories, and they're really excellent because I worked uh, I worked in the Czech Republic and in Slovakia too. I worked as a translator translator over there. Oh, uh, so I. Dali govoriš a Czech Czechski jezik. Czechski mluvim trošičku, tak trošku. Czechski dobre, slovenski dobre, ale czechski lepsze. Ah, okay. That's no. It looks like you can't do it. Yeah, because the zašto pa za czechski je lepsi, malo slovačko, malo čisti je onako. Hmm. Simpatični je jezik, bar bar meni. Hmm. Well, yeah, maybe I've spent some more time in Czech Republic than in, in Slovakia. That, therefore, I am much more familiar with the Czech. Although the, it's pretty much the same language. So, yeah, it's the yes. Uh, here on, on isu Slovenski yezik. Yes. Yeah, of course. Ali, uh, ali razlici Slovenski jezika. Okay. Tako je, malo su razli, različiti ovaj, u odnosu na ovaj srpski, na primjer. So, I, wanna, I just want to tell you that Tesla collaborated with the Nazis because he couldn't, he couldn't do nothing more with anybody else. He couldn't do that in the rest of Europe in that time. He couldn't right. do that in America. So, he, therefore, he, he has had to, to do that. <laughs> Sorry. He had to do that with the Nazis, and they were working, check this out, yeah. on the propulsive flying saucers and the, mo the propulsive motors for those flying saucers. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the UFOs, yeah, they were and, making them. Yeah, Germany was trying to Congress. develop the technology of building like a nuclear weapon the, during the war, during World War II. Like Germany was trying to build like nuclear weapons before the United States or the Soviet Union, Savetsky Savez got their hands on them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what they were trying to do. Yeah. And you know, there is there is um, a girl, you know, whose name was Maria Orsic. Hmm. And she was born in 1895. Uh, uh, you know, December 30, uh, sorry, oh. October 31 in Zagreb, and oh. today's Croatia's capital, of course. Lovely grad, Hrvatska. Yeah, so her parents were uh, Tomislav uh, Orsic mm. and uh, Zabina Spieler, mm. Zabina Spieler, and she was a ballerina in Vienna. Hmm. 
So uh, she came to, to her cousins in, in Zagreb and she met, you know, she first encountered uh, Mr. Tomislav, who was in, 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 um, an engineer. Hmm. So uh, they kind of sexually interacted and copulated. So as a result, uh, she incarnated in that in that zigath, and uh, you know, therefore she was born in Zagreb uh, to to death couples. You know, right. So as a result, you know, because you don't only incarnate uh, as a as a as a consequence, a result of the interaction between the male sperm and the female's, um, uh, you know. Uh, Ovarium cell. You, the, the second, that's the that's the first thing, in the first step in the incarnation process. And the second one is that you have to enter into the uterus uh, of a chosen mother in order to incarnate. So, yeah. So there are two factors, you know, during the incarnation process, and that's that's that you know works for everybody, including the Nazis. So you know, um, she, yeah. Like not yeah, I just, a lot this, of... this is, yeah, I just want to tell you that when she was 17 years old, she has begun to enter a state of a trance. Hmm. Like a transgender, like changing genders, you mean? No, no, no. She was trying to and she was beginning to enter in a state of a of an of an altered uh, consciousness. Ah. You know, uh, she was beginning uh, to receive the the messages in the form of uh, drawings hmm. and, and 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 scriptures which were very hard to decipher so she wrote a whole lot of bundles you know very thick bundles of papers containing those images and pictures and drawings so her father who was a rational man huh. Uh, so she was kind of basically like half of Pola Ruski, Pola Hrvatski. Yeli? Yeah, he was, yeah, he would only be a Polo Hrvat, a Polo, Kokuyaznam, uh, Austrianac, Takonesto. Tomislav Orsic, that. So he was a rational man, and being that way, he took, he has taken the, the papers with his daughter's drawings to to an engineer you know mm -hmm. uh, and that that engineer's name was otto von schumann you know okay. and he was a reputed scientist you know this is shot now you know mm -hmm. he was a scientist for, for for physics you know very reputed and and and, um, and famous for for his works right. that we will discuss about later on so he said when when Thomas Love asked him, what do you think about 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 these? Was glauben Sie über die die Zeichnen? What do you think about the drawings? He said, Oh, this for sure has had to be done by a superb and highly educated and skillful professional engineer period although it has been done by a uh, 17 year old girl who has never attended not a single class of, of physics or so oh so this was during the nazi era oh yeah no this was that was the beginning of the nazi era and oh. why am i why am i telling you all of this because she was the founder uh, the Nazi party, basically, you know, because later on, when she was in, in Munich, in, in, in Vienna, in Munich, she entered into a bar, into a tavern, uh, and there she met, uh, there she met with the, with a couple of the people, you know, mm -hmm. like the, it was the Pilot Lothar and um, you know uh, Baron Zebotendorf, you mm. know very famous 
Mm-hmm. Where he's, he has a Tarek in a cult uh, influence in the, in the, inside the party. And um, there, there, was also, there were also a couple of other people. So um, there they have organized the first uh, plans for the, for the Nazi party, which later on came and, and out, outburst it as a Nazi party. Speaking, speaking of Nazi party, like some Nazi, some members of the Nazi leadership, they were kind of like, some of them were German or they were Austrian. Kind of same, kind of like same scenario, like some parts of the Soviet leadership were not Russian, they were like Georgian or some other race. Yeah, like this pilot, Lothar Weiss, he was a Khazar because when you have the surname Weiss, you now that yeah. means white. And in 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 uh, in, uh, in German, hmm. it's a Khazar. So it's so yeah. This that was a good parallel. That was a very very good uh, line that you that you you you, you draw back yeah, because like, Stalin was 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 a Georgian Khazar. Yeah, he was from Georgia. Onye Bili Gruzie. Yeah, he was born in Gori, a yeah. tiny city in in the, in the in the in the in the middle of you know the middle part of Georgia. I've been there. You oh, cannot wow. enter. Yeah, I've been. I've visited Stalin, Stalin's birthplace. Although you cannot enter into the very house. Oh. Uh, I didn't enter inside of it, but I, 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 I stayed in a in front of the house. So I kind of made several pictures, and uh, that's it. That's that's what's allowed momentarily. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, certain certain uh, other high functionaries from you know uh, uh, from the from the USSR, yeah, government were were Georgians or or even from other uh, states, republics. you know. Sorry, former republics, Bishi Republika. Yeah, it's Bishi Republika. Da. I think there's there's also been a certain amount of Armenians. Yeah, that's right. Two. Mogu Yermenski Ministeri U Vlada Savit Savez. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Mikhail. So, uh, Mikhail. Yeah. Sorry? Mikhail. 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 Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, but Stalin certainly wasn't the only Georgian inside the spatial core. It was also Orjonikidze. Orjonikidze. Hmm? Have or you heard Beria. about him? Sorry, have you heard of him? Beria. No, I haven't. But oh, Beria. yeah. Yeah, Lavrenti Beria. Yeah. yeah, he actually he had uh, poisoned Stalin with the with the uh, mice or rat, rat, rat venom. Uh, yeah, with the strychnine. Hmm. He 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 was the one who killed Stalin unofficially. Uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna get that information in many books, but if you if you read between the lines, if, if you thoroughly mm-hmm. watch out yeah, the, the, the current situation of that that moment, it was it was definitely Berea who killed Stalin, uh, you know, because he didn't die. By himself. On March, 5th, on March 5th, 1953. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. That was the the official date yeah. of his death. But definitely he didn't die by natural causes right. of, of old age or something. He has been poisoned to death. Hmm. And his poisoner was Lavrenti Beria. You know? Yeah. The, and then the like, beast from Lubyanka. Yeah. Yeah. After the Stalin's death, there was a lot of, there was a struggle and power between like the Soviet, who was going to rule the Soviet Union next. There was like Nikita Khrushchev, Gori, yeah. Mon- Malenkov, there was Beria, uh, Nikolai Bol- Bokharin, I think it was. And there was like a struggle for power in the leadership after Stalin's death. Yeah, that was, that was kind of, you know, uh, struggling and making you know mutual combats about mm-hmm. who's gonna come to the to the to the seas of power yeah. who's gonna come to the to the forehead of the state and then it was Khrushchev. okay Khrushchev managed to take power I think for some Khrushchev I think that was Khrushchev took power after Stalin died 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They've kind of had the the presidential multitude, like right. in Yugoslavia after Tito's mm -hmm. uh, passing away. You know, mm -hmm. for some time there is the transitional, you know, the transitional uh, government. Prelas na vlada. So. Uh, was there like a struggle for power after Tito died? Oh yeah, they were all craving power. Oh, some of the same in Soviet Union. He still yeah, trying, trying to reorganize power. and to to make covenants with the other ones in order to destroy and eradicate uh, the, the opponents and the conquerors. So yeah, it was it was Mr. Khrushchev, and and um, has been who came later on, but that's Khrushchev, another subject, of course. Yeah, Brad, so uh, it's, it's worthy of mentioning that the, there were two of the prominent figures mm -hmm. that are considered officially as founders of the Nazi Party, and those are uh, Karl Haushofer oh, and, uh, and uh, Dietrich Eckhart. Dietrich Eckhart. So it was um, the second one was hiding, you know, uh, under the mask of a, of a jovial, you know, uh, flamboyant personality who was, was charmful and, and, and very highly educated. He was hiding a, um, a real Satanist, you know, a, a very, you know, uh, educated. Yeah. Uh, as a terrorist and uh, and um, uh, the invoker of different demons and fiends, so a an occult practitioner of the first grade. So that was Dietrich Eckert as or was. Yeah. So and and Carl Haushofer was a similar story. He was a a historian. He was. Uh, a deep connoisseur of the of the esoteric teachings of all ages, especially the Indian, Mauryan, uh, you know, philosophy and religion. So um, those were extremely smart two guys who have uh, who had their over officially established the Nazi Party. Yeah, and of course Maria Orsic was playing a large part inside the, the party because uh, you know one of her previous incarnations was on the Aldebaran uh, stellar system in the constellation and the constellation of Taurus you know if you watch the the, the celestial map right you can find the Aldebaran so uh, and that's that's reserved for one of our further shows because it would it would it would require a whole lot of uh, new uh, approach uh, in, in 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 treating this aspect and, and this this subject because I have to explain where the Aldebaran is and who are the inhabitants of it and how do they function and what later on she has conveyed about the information uh, from the older around it because those those sketches the, those crockies and those uh, uh, engineers you know highly educated and skillful drawings were coming from the older baron yeah that's worth you mentioning yeah things in germany were very different obviously after world war one ended because like there was a it was in economic ruins, like Germany was in economic ruins because the military was destroyed. And then like a new government took power in the Germany. That was the Weimar uh, Republic. I think that was before Nazi Germany took power. And so like Hitler tried to create a coup to overthrow that government and that he was in prison for some time. And then he wrote a book called Mind Struggles. Yeah, Mein Kampf. Da, da for you. Yeah. Exactly. Boya Borba. Da. My combat. That's right. Kampf. Yeah. Kämpfen means mm -hmm. to fight. Uh, to make to combat. Mm -hmm. say. But uh, he didn't write that book, of course, because it's has been according to the official his, his, historical track. He was writing that in, in the prison, but that's the 
mythologizing process uh, of the personality. You know, uh, he was a uh, a failed artist. Hmm. You know, the painter. Modern, yeah, he, you know, he, he actually wanted to become a painter during his childhood. He wanted to become a painter, and uh, when he's been rejected, yeah. he therefore wanted to impose himself, himself and to, 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 to cause the pain to the people around him who rejected him because he was a painter. And being a painter, because he was a painter, he wanted to produce pain as a painter. Because he was rejected. <laughs> uh, even like, uh, what was I gonna say? Like, even Nazis like did like really kind of like despicable stuff, like very sick stuff. They like experimented on people, and they like made their eyes like into different colors. Razliche, Broye. It was kind of uh, strange, like sick ideas, like. Oh yeah, you 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 you're talking about the different colors of the eyes, or yeah, not. they were changing people's eyes and stuff. Oh yeah, that's called uh, the heterochromia. Yeah, they were doing that. Was... Yeah, I kind of have it in small percentage. If you make a zoom into uh, my eyes, you if you make a closer and look, also you can see like. That it has uh, Sorry? Oh, Hitler ye bio priate se itali italianski dictator Benito Mussolini. Oh yeah, well they were certainly the the allies, allies yeah. the allies oh, okay. yeah. and the same plundering and enterprise, right. the same plundering entrepreneurs, you know, project. Right. Uh, and endeavor because uh, that's that's what the fascism is. Right. The def the best definition of the fascism is that the fascism represents a uh, an iron feast of dying capitalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. fascism is a spread right. kick of. Uh, the feast of the capitalism right. on lying in his dying bed. Yeah. So the beast of capitalism is uh, kind of deforming and, and, and devolving into fascism. That's that's where it is. So yeah, they, Italian the Nazis, they occupied some part of the former Yugoslavia during World War II. They occupied some areas of Yugoslavia. So were 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 there some Nazis in in, in the in the space of the former Yugoslavia? Yeah. Is that the question? During the Nazi time, they were occupying uh, Yugoslavia. Italy was Italy was occupying some parts of Yugoslavia too during the war. So you're asking me right now, were they occupying Yugoslavia? Yeah, they were, right? yeah, that's what, obviously, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, they. Uh, they have uh, certainly occupied and uh, disemboweled the territory of Yugoslavia. There wasn't uh, the country anymore. You know, um, for example, certain parts of the north of today's Serbia they had uh, uh, were just conjoined to the Hungary. You know, and, uh, Hungarian but territory. Yeah. And, yeah, and the large portion of the former Yugoslav territory, meaning Bosnia Herzegovina, were you know conjoined to the so-called independent state of Croatia. Oh, that was like ruled by a government. Yeah, led by Pavlic and his forces upon its forehead. Yeah. Ustasha. Has been, Ustasha. Yeah, the Ustasha. Okay. To su domobrani. Izvorne Ustaše su bile nešto drugo. To je, to je ovaj izvorno drugačiji termin koji je stariji još od 19. veka datira, a ovo su domobrani bili. Da. Znači kad kaže za dom spremni, to su domobrani koje je ovaj, organizovao Vatika, naravno. Uh, and uh, yeah, she likes you. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's where it is. And uh, the first so-called Ustasha or the Dama Braun, 
right. uh, camps were were established in Italy and in in the in the territory oh, of Mussolini. Campania, you know, Na Naples, yeah. So they were doing the military exercises. So later on, he were they were recruiting and drafting the very primitive people inside the the core of those alleged Ustasha. Now the Croats. They were kind of like anti-Serbs. Croats were like anti anti-Serbs. They had like yeah. hatred towards Serbs. Oh yeah, yeah. They those that, that hatred against Serbs by by Croats has been a, a pro deep program of mental control of mind altering and mind control that has been induced by the Vatican. Mm -hmm. and by uh, the british crown right you know so uh, they uh when, whenever they are asked why do they why do you hate serbs so much they say we've been induced to do that and to mm -hmm. feel that way since our early childhood since our cradles you know, so um, you know, I'm just observing. I'm 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 on nobody's side, really. I don't have to. I don't need to choose a side. Don't have any I'm just observing from a point of an extraterrestrial organism, from an alien, from a UFO, flying saucer somewhere in the in in the space. I don't have to be on anybody's side. Sorry, I'm just watching the current situation and the past situations and the future situations on the Terra planet. So if you want to ask me, how can you observe the future situations? I'm going to unveil that secret to you in, in one of the upcoming shows. Episodes, yeah. Yeah, the episodes, because there are already what's called the Kosyuryev mirrors, right. which actually can allow you and me to watch the future, and hmm. that's that's really hard to comprehend because yeah. it's complex. All right, so okay. it's, it's worthy. Yeah, it's worthy of mentioning that um, you know um, Hitler uh, was adoring Richard Wagner's music. Uh, and oh, so he loved like, his music, basically. Yeah, although although Richard Wagner has nothing to do with, with the Nazi movement. He was just an artist, a very talented and gifted musician and, and, and even genius in certain parts of his creativity. Maybe he was anti-Semitic and his music was highly Germanic in its core. You know, the operas, the tetralogy like Percival and the Lohengrin, and Parsifal and the good Erwärmerung and uh, the Rheingold, you know, mm -hmm. the four and the Aryan night operas that, that create the tetralogy. Oh. So they they were they were boosting the Nazi spirit, the, the Germanic Aryan spirit, at least the way they were experienced experiencing it. What, what, what would you what would you like to, to ask me? And, and the Aryan race, it's not it's not that very popular than it was during the Nazi time. I mean, now it's much different than it was then. But it's probably like, I mean, it's still here, but I don't know how popular it is today that compared to the Nazi era. Right. Just, just give me a second, please. Okay. I have to. So, like yeah, I, I have saying, to. So like I was saying, like the Aryan race, I wonder, it's not that popular than it was during the Nazi era. What is it like today? In Germany? I mean, in the world, yeah. Well, it's very popular in Sweden nowadays. Sweden, ah. Sweden has, you know, several Nazi parties right in this moment, and oh, wow. they are very focused on I mean, Nazis. Those parties, yeah, both parties should be banded because they represent fascism. Well, yeah, but you know, if you look at more thoroughly and objectively, that's one of the representing expressions of the human animal or the human being, meaning 
yeah. you know, the the idea that I am better than you in racial yeah. way or vice versa, that you're better than me in racial uh, way or that we both are better than the other ones and therefore we grow hatred towards yeah. them and want to conquer their territories and to plunder their houses and to, to kill them, to destroy and eradicate those bastards who are lower wow. genetically speaking and thus mentally observing you know that idea is very long and uh, it derives from the primordial uh, states uh, of the human mind because it's and it's spontaneously natural inherited in the human animal's core as well as the the nobility or 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 kind-heartedness yes you know, because the the nature of uh, the existence and the cosmos or the universe is, is duality right you know there is the aryan concept of, of akrama ariman and and ahura mazda and has been has been um uh, a creed, a belief in a religious system in today's Iran, in, per, in ancient Persia, and Zarathustra was was its, its main prophet. So, Ariban represents the the, the, the forces of, of darkness and evil, while Ahura Mazda instead represents the the the, the goodness and, and, and light. So uh, those two, those two are uh, functioning together as a matter of fact and there is that that idea of the abraxas abraxas is a deity a demiurge or or a god what you know whose utter you know ultimate nature as duality so if you consider the nazi movement that's just one of the two parts and they function together yeah, there's like a, there's an alternative uh, history book. It's written about if the Nazis won World War II, and it's interesting because if they won the war, they would probably exterminate all Jews off the planet. Well, yeah, but that's kind of it's not only a genetic eradication and extinction uh, because they have convinced themselves that they're they're higher and more superb than Jews. Yeah. The ethnic Sephardic Jews, because Jews yeah. per se, they don't exist. They are there are the Sephardic and, and Ashkenazi who hate each other and they're they're Falsches or Falsches in Ethiopia and yeah. that's mostly yeah. and there are Khazars who are Turkic and who are yeah, not before Jews. Before the war, before war Israel was not a country. So Jews, I think they came from Egypt, I, I, if I recall. Well, let's say, yeah. Well, let's say, and, and, and probably also for they have outbursted and, and derived from, from certain parts of the Arabic Peninsula, maybe oh. the second branch came from, you know, like Armenians are, you know, are a compounded bland and mixture of the at least five, four, yeah, Jews, know, uh, Jews and Armenians. Right. Jews and Armenians were going through the same genocide too, but Turks were oh, yeah. Armenians. Yeah, but let's let's just let's just face the truth that there is one more reason to destroy the Jews over the, the at the beginning of the World War II, and that's the economic prevalence of the Jews, meaning that the Jews were economically being disobedient, being you know, better. Sorry. Oh, so like. But the reason why Jews were being executed was because they were being disobedient to Germans. Yeah, they, no, they uh, were ex extraordinarily much more powerful economically uh, speaking. So uh, they were having the best houses and the businesses over there. The, the bankers were Jews like they are today. Also, oh, so that's so the idea. Really yeah, uh, the idea to exterminate Jews like a past. Was not like a plague, you know, the unnecessary gangrene branch that has to be cut off. Yeah. It's not only because they were lower genetically speaking, mm -hmm. but because they were economically incomprehensibly much, incomparably much powerful. And then the owners of the banks, like Rothschilds and, and the Rockefellers, you know, uh, the families, you know, the, 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 the clans, 
of the, of the Jewish, uh, you know, bankers. So um, and they were the, yeah, they were they were the owners. They were holding the the German country, so they had to be destroyed yeah. and replaced. And there's a movie about that too. It's called Schindler's List. That's like about one of the concentration. Yeah, of course. And as well as you know, Oscar Schindler was, um, uh, you know, uh, Jews, making though, profits yeah, in, he, uh, during the war. But he had saved, you know, around ten thousand Jewish lives and and the particular individuals and families. And there is, you know, there is a the great guy. movie. And there, was a guy, and there was a guy, his name was Amon Goth. He was the commander of the camp, Katrisha camp. He was a bad guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but it was, it was worthy of, of mentioning because he had saved, he had saved a lot right. of, a lot of particular individual lives. And uh, there's that great movie you now that you've mentioned that has been directed by Steven Spielberg in 1993, who's also a Kaiser, you know, Spielberg, right? Mm -hmm. It means a, a mountain or, or, or a, uh, a hill for playing Spielberg, right? Yeah. So he's a Kaiser too. And he's a, he's a kind of a generous guy because Steven Spielberg, you know, uh, manages often to, to you know, uh, to give uh, to renounce one thousand dollars to to his friends or during his birthday party, which ain't too much, you know, not even for me, not to mention him. Uh, one thousand dollars is is one thousand dollars, but it's just one thousand bucks. Okay, but he's a good guy, nevertheless. So the 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 wars. I just want to I just want to conclude with this point. Uh, the war between, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, the okay. Kazars and Jews in Germany are the continuation of the first mentioned uh, genetical uh, warfare between the lineages of the Hyperboreans and the Plantans and, and Lemurians. So uh, those three. Uh, you know, uh, representing genetical civilizations are mutually having warfares for the entirety, potentially speaking, all until they apply the gadgets again, uh, made by Nikola Tesla. Yeah. And that means utilizing uh, the free energy from the ether, you know, from the ionosphere. And that, uh, that will make the warfare redundant hmm. because in that case we won't be obliged to go to another one's country to plunder we won't be obliged to conquer Siberia even Germany so on. even Germany occupied all Europe like all Europe was under their control because of their army because of the tanks they had because of the soldiers they had all German all Europe was under German occupation by 1941, by the end of 1941. Uh, oh. Sorry, can, can, can you repeat the last one, please? Like I was Stop saying, like it. all Germany, all Germany occupied all Europe. By the end of 1941, when when Germany invaded Soviet Union, Sovietsky Savez, all Europe was under Nazi occupation by the end of 1941. Oh yeah, the entire territory of Europe was under the, the siege, you mean under the Oc occupation. Yeah, under the occupation and the military uh, conquest uh, of, of the German Empire, the yeah. Dritten Reich, the, the, the Third Reich. Yeah. And Ger yeah, Soviet Union was a much bigger country, so why they even attacked Soviet Union? It was a huge country. Oh, that was a huge error, you know. That was a big mistake. They've attacked them in, 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 in March, but, you know, they didn't count on, and they didn't calculate with, uh, with the Russian snow and winter, you know, and it was the, exactly the same mistake that Napoleon Bonaparte oh, had, yeah, he had done. 
in, in the previous centuries, you know, they kind of repeated the same stupidity, uh, you know, and uh, of course, you know, as a, as a, as a, uh, as a thorough uh, researcher of history and the esoteric history uh, that uh, Russians were burning down their own villages to, to, to dust and they were kind of retreating and, and uh, withdrawing mm -hmm. back into the into the core of the country so they were leaving the burnt crops and wheat burnt food and yeah and and and, and food supplies and oats and and, and barley yeah. and um you know everything else in order to starve their enemies to death uh oh you need it bro <laughs> yeah so that's that's why uh that's why uh, they were forced to retreat. I mean, the Nazis. So they did not conquer and so Siberia as they, they pushed, wanted. They pushed the Soviet Union pushed Nazi Germany all the way back to Berlin, from Moscow to Berlin, because oh, Moscow yeah. was and, 1941, yeah. and then Berlin was 1945. Yeah, they even came up. Yeah, you know, you know, everything else has already mentioned, and and it very well researched, like the Stalingrad. Battle, you know, yeah, the, know the, the largest, uh, you know, land battle of all times until this moment, you know, at least. And they, they, they came up to the Caucasus frontier reef. Mm -hmm. I've been there, and and, and and the villagers, you know, and they Khrushchev. they know about that. Sorry, yeah, Khrush Khrushchev was a hero at Stalingrad. Khrushchev ye bio heroi at Stalingrad. Khrushchev je bio heroj. Da. Stalin gradske bitke. Da, da. Of course, yeah, certainly he was. And uh, there is also a good movie that has been made, uh, you know, some, around 10, 10 years ago, and it's called uh, Stalingrad, you know. You know, one of, the, one of the good movies. And also, we also discuss a lot about the cinema and, and the cinematic... Yeah, in our previous Works. episodes, in our previous episodes, we talk about Soviet Yugoslav films. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there, there is, there is uh, one movie that has been taped in the Belarusian territory. It's called yeah. Matri. You know, it's, it, it, it depicts and describes the the Nazi crimes, the war crimes. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know that have been committed against the. The civilians, the villagers, the peasants, and and um, not necessarily Jews in, 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 the, in the Belarusian territory. Yeah. Okay, so um, you know th this is just a tiny scratch upon the surface of the subject, mm -hmm. because we have to face the truth that this is an exhaustible uh, theme, you know, to 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 discuss about. Oh, uh, like it's very um yeah I, I just wanna I just wanna tell to our audience yeah that there are the books you know uh, on the Amazon go buy my books you know this is the perfect moment to 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 make the ads the advertising for our, our books and the first one is called Nikola Tesla Third Reich and the Extraterrestrials. Nikola Tesla, der Dritten Reich und die Außerirdische. In German, we, we're 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 doing the German translation now. Oh, we're great. gonna we're gonna you know convert it into German by a by a translator. I ain't gonna do that because I I have better things to do. And this, and and in that book you have everything uh, already mentioned in, uh, regarding Tesla's connection with the Nazis and making the propulsive. The flying saucers, you know, uh, meaning the the UFOs and Maria Orsic, who was the central pillar figure, you know, the, the, the peer of the. Our, in our next episode, we should Nazi talk party. About in our next Sorry? In our next episode, we should talk about Maria, that girl you were talking about. You know, the the, the well, meaning, meaning last you mean last time or the, the further. In our further episode, future episode, I mean. In our future episode, we have to discuss more about Maria Orsic because she is the, the the central figure of the the esoteric 
four of the Nazi Party. Uh, because she she was the founder of, and, and, and we have to discuss more about the occult elements and the occult structure of the inner core of, this, of the of the Nazi Party, like the Anenerbe organization, mm -hmm. you know, the Anenerbe organization, and uh, also the SS, uh, you know, uh, units, yeah. and the uh, you know. Uh, the, the, the military, you know, corps service inside the party, right? On the, yeah, and auch the, the Lebensborn, uh, the Lebensborn project, you know, right? Yeah, you know, has been, um, has been officially launched and propagated by, uh, Lance von Lebenfels, you know, and communism and communism after World War II and it. Communism came like a world religion almost. Oh right? yeah, that was the, the misusage and the abusal of the original idea of yeah. communism that has been turned into plundering and imposal of their own, you know, uh, free will against the the population. Because I want to tell you, my friend, and I'm sure that you already know that very well. That you're certain of that you're aware of the fact that the idea. That, you know, of communism was existing, and it was mutating and devolving into something different. But the, the communism itself, with the C capitalized, has never been existing. And even in, after the world, even after the war ended, communism was spreading into like East Germany, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Romania, yeah. Poland. And it would always go inverted and twisted and perverted and corrupted yeah because of the you know and due to the obvious uh corruptibility of the of the nature of human animal which is an inherently you know which may, means the 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 uh you know uh, the inherent parts of the of the human being you know the yeah, inclination towards corruption yeah. sorry i think that's going to be a good topic to talk about like communism as a world religion oh yeah if you yeah if you if you ako posmatraš sletove komunističke u bivšoj jugoslaviji da komunizam u bivšoj jugoslaviji da to ima sve elemente religijskog skupa it has it contains the all elements of the you know, uh, of, of a religious sermon or a right. Kamunizma, kamunizma kao regilia. Kamunizma. Kao religia. Yeah, we'll da, talk about that. I don't know. Kamunizm was a religion because it was having the rights and sermons and the superb God. Those those deities, you know, were, you uh, know, um, you know, the, the superb priests, let's say, you know, like like Tito and Stalin and and, and they so were, on, they, they were atheists, basically. And the prophets, like like the the, the twisted interpretation, uh, you know, the misconception of, of the 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 philosophy of Karl Marx and uh, Vladimir Lenin. Engels you know, or Vladimir Lenin, Lenin or uh, and it's interesting because you know, Germany was responsible for creating communism in Russia because. If you remember towards the end of the war, war World War One, like Germany gave Lenin and the Bolsheviks money and they put him on a train to the Russian Empire and that's how he created Russian Revolution and that's how the Soviet Union became a country. So Germany- Oh yeah, yeah, that. yeah, that's that great. And the October Revolution has been you know, uh, you know, uh, officially financed by, um, by England, you know? By oh, the English yeah. intelligence service, they oh. were giving the money for for financing the the October Revolution, which oh. which, which occurred in in outburst in in November as well as you know. Yeah, November seventh. So, That's right. Yeah, and it's it's nevertheless called October Revolution, and. Um, Okay, there is a vast majority of the subjects that we have to talk about. Uh, I mean, in our further shows, because it's just, just a tiny scratch upon the surface of the, the immensity and complexity of the subject. We have to, 
get more into into the music of Richard Wagner and uh, the, the 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 you know the 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 Communism as a world religion. Yeah, the epic. That, yeah, that has been written by um, by uh, by a medieval uh, poet and writer. Uh, you know, I'm getting tired, so maybe. Yeah. Oh, the video hasn't stopped recording, so that's kind of strange. yeah. Yeah. This is this is Velma Umoran video. Oh, this is Velma. Not not too much, but I I I am tired. Ah, ich bin ein wenig müde jetzt. Ah, das das Wirklichkeit. Ah, I am a little bit tired. That's ah. true, but not so entirely tired. Not you know, in order to be prevented from from further making this video. Uh, okay, Christoph so, von Eschenbach. Christoph von Eschenbach was the name of the the writer and the poet who had written the 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 epic entitled Parsifal, and that was the 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 the, the baseline for Richard Wagner's opera. You know, one of the, the the four ones that are included into the tetralogy, the four operas that that Hitler was fascinated by. What was it called again? He was fascinated by. Well, the first opera is, is called Parsifal, uh, and also you have Lohen Green, mm -hmm. and also the Götterdämmerung, uh, the Götterdämmerung, mm -hmm. meaning the Twilight. Uh, the gods, or the, the damnation of the gods, better, and you have the the Rheingold, you know. So, and a lot of people say like Churchill was confusing the British people because Churchill was like trying to uh, maybe join Germany. For I don't know if that's entirely true. Yeah, well, Churchill was a bisexual, and he was having oh, wow. you know, four 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 kids. Yeah. And he was, uh, you know, inducing himself into the homosexual, hmm. you know, uh, orgies and pleasures with with males, with men. There are several witnesses uh, of that topic, and he also is the, one of the winners of the Nobel Prize for literature. But uh, also, he wasn't the the actual writer of those books. You know, the history of the World War II. You know. Um, and he was yeah, the one, he was the Churchill was actually the one who went to the United States. I think it was sometime between 1946 and 1948, sometime when the Cold War started, and he went to the United States and said yeah. that Soviet Union is our enemy, and then the United yeah. States did not pay attention to him. Yeah, I, I just want to, yeah, that's true. I just want to tell you a few more things about Winston Churchill. Yeah, you know, it's um, his mother was a very voluptuous and 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 a gullible and um, you know, uh, you know, sexually pernicious woman, you know, in, in, in satiable woman, you know, she slept with uh, 2,000 men, you know, <laughs> and she was bragging around with it, you know, she was going around with that fact, you know, um, and uh, she was very proud of, of, of that. So she also slept with, uh, with the, with Serbian, with Serbian king uh, Milan. Oh, you know? who, she was, they oh were yeah, I know who Milan was. Milan was one of the kings. He, yeah. I think he was killed like in the 1900s or something. Yeah, yeah. When he died, he, when he died, his uh, his torso, his naked body was an epitome for an, athle an athletic, um, you know. Uh, and that's good. We should talk about like Serbian yeah. kingdom and the communist Pale finger. religion. In our future episodes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. So therefore, there were certain rumors, even in, in the Serbian, uh, you know, uh, society. The, the certain, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, that's why I, I call bar rumors that they were saying that possibly and allegedly, uh, uh, although it's, it's still unproved, that Churchill might be one of the sons of. Serbian King Milan, oh. because his mother was sexually intercourse and, and, and you know, um, uh, using herself in sexual 
pleasure and, and uh, delights with, with Milan. So I, I don't believe that he was King Milan's son. Ha. Huh. No, like, like some journalists, you know, in, in certain monasteries were imposing this stupid uh, story that Tito, yeah. meaning Joshua, Joshua Ambrose, mm -hmm. was the son of, of Winston Churchill. It's bullshit. Yeah. It can't be that, it can't be that Tito, Tito was Churchill's That's son. Like a There's only conspiracy that, theory. Yeah, there is only, but well, those are the stupid ones, really, because there's only 19 years in between two of them. So they, you know, you know, we know whose son Tito was, you know, is from the, from the lineage of the Habsburg, you know, monarchy, you know. Yeah, that's that. also a good topic to talk about, too. We should talk about, like, the, the rule or era of Tito of when he ruled former Yugoslavia. Oh, yeah. Those were the good times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those were the, the real good times, you know. And it's interesting you know, because, uh, like, during Brezhnev time in the Soviet Union, like, my grandparents were saying, like, Brezhnev time was the best because, like, the oil prices increased in Soviet Union. And Soviet Union was late making a lot of money by selling oil because that was a major resource in Soviet Union. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. And that's why I would like we to include your your grandfather yeah. during our our, our first further shows and yeah. one of the first further ones because uh you know we're going to be able to discuss more about the 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 human lives you know the concrete uh, existences in the in the decayed country of the of the ussr from yeah. the first hand because he was the witness i was the witness because I remember the, the remnants, the debris of the of the life in former Yugoslavia. I remember going to the sea coast and uh, to various resorts around. I, I've been to the whole country, mostly. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, and, I, and I've been to the Soviet Union before it, it decayed. Sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask him to be on one of my shows one day. Yeah, I would like to. If it's if he's in your vicinity, if he's in, in the neighborhood of yours, or probably very close to, maybe yeah. you can invite him to yeah. our, our 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 next show. What do you think? Ah, mislim dobro. I think it's good. Yeah, that's that's a great idea. That's for sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I wanna, I wanna, I just wanna. I just want to remind our, our listeners and our audience to check out check out for the book called Nikola Tesla. Third and I'm going to add that, the I'm going to add that in the description of the episode. I'm going to put it. Yeah, in. and also the occulture and also the mythologies of techno world because Tesla is the link for all the three of them. Okay. And uh, and and also it describes a lot of Maria Orsic, and we have to expand that in, in yeah. further shows. Mm -hmm. All right. Are, are we? Are we? We're still recording, so maybe we should probably perhaps end it because it's probably yeah. like an hour or so. Yeah. Yeah. It's been it's been more than enough. Yeah. So. Okay. To je dovoljno. Kako? To je dovoljno. Ah, to je dovoljno, da. Das ist genügt. Da. Ja, das ist genügt. Man sagt in Deutschland, das ist genügt. Dovoljno. All right, my friend. Okay, veoma dobro. This is great. All right, so uh, I'm mm -hmm. happy to see you again with a yeah, couple of further days. This is only going to get better and better. Tomorrow, probably, next episode. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. Over, over the day. Okay, cool. It's, it's not the weekend, so I'm not going to be obliged to do nothing else. <laughs> All right. We're going to solely focus to our show. Uh, we're, getting, we're attaining the audience, man. Sorry? Vidimos es ultra. Vidimos es ultra, priyateru. Laku noch. Laku noch. Ciao. Ovigenia. <laughs> Ovigenia, priyateru. Vidimos se. Go! Artlist.io. 
Music licensing reimagined.